you already know who it is man it's your boy phantom Ricans. they'll be doing a video discussing Crollo's past reveal now when it comes to Crollo, we know that this guy is a very spooky man and then what do i mean by that basically Crollo, this is a man that does not fear death yes there are a few characters in hunter x hunter who actually are like that we know that gone he is one of the people who basically will stare death in the face we also know that karapika to a certain extent he is somebody who will stare death in the face but Krolo when he is basically when he's face to face with uh life or death situations it's just like he won't care like the difference between characters like Gon and Karapika is that they're willing to like fight and then they want to actually stand up and prove themselves but Krolo he's just like eh if I die I die he doesn't really care so we definitely do know that that has to do it has to do have to do something with this past and I want to do a video just dissecting it today now we know that Krolo comes from Meteor City and basically Meteor City is the slum of the slums. Yes, they don't even, we know that Meteor City is so bad is that people they basically they're the only thing that they're really used there for is Hitman and basically they're used and basically little small little corporations so that they can go out and uh, do the dirty work and uh, under the cover jobs because we know the people from Meteor City they're not even registered in the government so they don't have any like they have no track records or anything that's how I don't I don't want to say fodder but that's basically how bad Meteor City is like when your own government doesn't even register you in the system so you don't even have like a name or anything damn they really don't care for you and the fact that Krolo comes from Meteor City, I think that this is already a good start for his character because Meteor City, it is definitely a rough place to grow up because basically, like I said, there's harsh living environments and everything. So yeah, if you lived in Meteor City, you definitely had to experience some traumatic things. And I think that is definitely something that Krolo had to do. Now, when it comes to Krolo's parents, I do believe that he may have been the one to kill them. And why do you, I know some of you guys are thinking, why do you think that? Well, we know Krolo, we saw him basically running around as a child, as a young age. We saw that he basically never really had any parents there in Meteor City. They haven't necessarily been revealed, but Krolo, when it comes to death, he really doesn't care either. If, I mean, we see what type of mindset he installed inside of the Phantom Troop. He basically says, yo, kill anybody kill anybody anybody as long as we get what we want and i definitely do think that he might have actually been the person to kill off his own parents or maybe he might have actually killed off somebody that was really close to him and that's why he doesn't really fear for death or another thing that I want to suspect from Krolo is we saw how happy he was as a child. We saw that he was running around smiling. He was enjoying himself. And then now we really see Krolo and he's more of a serious guy. I mean, he does have those moments when he like cracks a smile, but it seems more sinister. It doesn't seem like an actual like smile of like happiness. So maybe Krolo actually did lose somebody that was really important to him. And maybe could have been one of those people that we saw in this flashback when he was running around. But yeah, I definitely do think that Krolo, his past will be very daunting and it'll be something that'll just shock the whole Hunter x Hunter fan base. But overall, that's basically it for this little video. What do you guys think about Krolo's past? Do you guys think that Krolo did something traumatic and actually did something that was basically very spooky? Or do you think that Krolo actually experienced something that changed him completely? Comment what you guys think down below. Subscribe if you haven't. Peace out.